so now i will now jump to the the syllabus part the point that i would like to tell is that there are five units will be there first unit second unit electric potential third unit is conductors and dielectric followed by magnetic field and the last unit would be the maxwell's equations of electromagnetism and then you have some recommended textbooks and then some additional books these things are given here now here textbooks 1 and 2 which means the resnick and halliday book the second one is um, any book like engineering electromagnetics you need not follow identical book you can follow equivalent book okay so that's why we have given five books the fourth and book the fourth book and the fifth book is a little bit of advanced one but however it is also meant for undergraduate so remember that all the five books which is shown here are meant for undergraduate students so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so i am going to use the last book so you can see what is the last book uh, the author name is sadiku and the title of the book is elements of electromagnetics and you don't have to worry about the edition like you know fourth edition fifth edition edition is not important anything is fine so try to get a book i have the hard copies of this book with me all the five books i have but all of them are hard copies i have the minimum thing is that you should try to get some books with you okay the fourth book you try to avoid now uh, the list 1 2 3 and 5 is good okay fifth the fourth book can be used later in the fourth year so you, you need not read the fourth book right now so first book resnick and lay it's very good book you must have a copy of this book so to start with and then the second and third book will give you considerable amount of details uh, when compared to the first book so that will the uh, book number 2 and 3 will cover our entire syllabus and book number 5 will have more number of problems i am interested to choose the last book because the fifth book contains lot of problems which are solved whereas the fourth book will contain lot of theory so this is the this is how the mixing of books are there fourth book you can see lot of derivations less number of problems fifth book you can see lot of problems are solved you don't have to struggle for solution it is already solved in the book so therefore fifth book is very interesting and the uh, second and third book contains equal amount like of course second and third book uh, contains lot of theory and a few problems are also solved if you are seeing only the syllabus let me go back here if you are going to see the syllabus here you can see that uh, you know the definition of electric potential potential inside a spherical charge you know these kind of titles are there in the same school book so you get a doubt whether uh, the our syllabus is anything higher than that or not so that's why i am telling most of the places in the you have a similar uh, kind of thing application of gosla for example application of gosla is there in the same higher secondary school textbook so you should remember that what we are going to do here will have greater detail of how the calculations are being done so therefore you should remember that this course is um, much higher than what you have studied in the school and therefore you have to be careful in reading the first book resnick and halliday book is excellent book you start reading it if you are unable to read for some reason i don't know what is the reason but if you are unable to read you st- you straight away open the last book namely the Ele- elements of electromagnetics and then you can start reading that's a good book it is introductory book it is written for the undergraduate students and therefore it is readable but the fourth book may be a little bit difficult so you you can avoid reading the fourth book and coming to the second and third yes second and third book they are also introdu- introductory textbooks uh, any undergraduate student can read okay so you it is up to your choice you have a choice of reading and then finding out which book is uh, nicely written because some people like some books for some reason okay so that you have to work it out but i recommend that the fifth book will be a very good book it contains lot of problems and for uh, reading theory you can use book number 2 and 3 the first book i am giving you in in such a way that you will be con- making continuation of your school education okay from school education you write many of the competitive examination at that time resnick halliday book might have been used so therefore that will be a very good starting point for you if you are afraid of uh, going into detailed mathematics okay so that's the introduction about this and by the way the course is going to be mathematical in nature okay 
uh, you require considerable amount of mathematics to solve the problem it is not that you read something without equations the whole book will be uh, full of equations so you should be good in the so called vector calculus vector calculus most probably you may be studying in the mathematics department and i believe that uh, uh, the the vector calculus that you are going to study would be uh, very much useful for this course